quickchart.io with Adale. Okay, so here we are, quickchart.io, and we can make nice little charts and graphs um, and input them on Adalo quite easily. Um, so if we go to chart gallery, we can choose a type of chart that we're looking for. Um, and in this example, I'm going to use this one, the gauge chart. Okay, so this is a, a sort of progress percentage. Um, now on the left we have the parameters. Um, for example, maybe I want to change this to um, this text to user progress. Okay, and it's going to change it down here as well. Okay, um, up here I could change the color of uh, the bar, how how much progress they've made by altering the RGBA. Um, anyway, once you've had a play with that and you have it how you want it to be, you can come here and copy link address for the URL and head back over to your Adalo app. I've just got a basic sign up um, and an image here, okay, uh, which I had already filled in. So let me delete that, make new image. insert that you want URL and paste in that URL that we just got from QuickChart okay now it's quite a long URL um, but you can see it's inputted exactly um, how we just had it on the QuickChart website um, you can see it's on 12% now we do want to change that uh, to be dynamic so on the database I made a field called percentage progress for each user um, so Let's go back here, um, and I'm going to use Control F and find that 12. Okay, and it's uh, it's here and also up here. So in both those places, I'm going to put magic text percentage progress. Okay, and again, where are we? Down here. Okay. Um, percentage progress okay I think that's the right spot okay so let's preview and see how it is okay I've already made a user and the user should be logged in so we should go here we go okay so um, and I've also made a little box where we can change that user progress okay 25% 11%, 100%, okay, which uh, has an odd result, <laughs> it would seem, but uh, let's put 50%, okay, hmm, something a bit strange about that, 150, 250, I'm wondering what that goes up to. Okay, so there's there's obviously a maximum here that um, where are we? Um, twelve eighty eight. Ah, okay. So if I find that twelve here, um, we changed it here, and the other part is eighty eight percent. Okay, so. Um, I would have to change the other part of that. Um, I'd need another field that calculates the remaining percentage. But for example, if uh, if the user is going to be a hundred percent, we need to change that to zero. So let's go back and change him to a hundred percent. Okay, a hundred, and you're going to see, yeah, there's nothing there. Okay, so just another feature to change, but uh, it's quite a neat tool. Um, all you need to do um, is ch is get that URL and have a play with it. It's really nice and simple. Um, and I just added this here that updates um, the user percent progress input, um, just so it's easy to have a look and a play with it. So I hope that's helpful. Anyway, guys, thanks very much.